off we go on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. First carry now for A.J. Dillon. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. It's on the pickup. It's second and eight. Here's Dillon. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. And this is third down. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And he's going to have the... We can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down mm -hmm. is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. At the 35-yard line. From the gun, it's Dillon. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and ten. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And they're going to mark him down short maybe by about a yard if that they do get nine but it leads to fourth down obviously they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it i know where we are on the field but still you've got to think about it don't you okay look at this the punt team nowhere to be found they're on the sidelines offense gonna go for this on the opening drive got a man and he hits him in stride and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They run with Dillon. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. The 
the previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's Dillon. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Dylan now on first and 10. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23. yard line the ball carrier brought down at the 23 yard line a gain of two brings up second and eight the last run good for two here's second and eight Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. And that's their first sack of this game. But how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. 13th play now on the opening drive. Will this be the lucky one? It's third and goal. They give to Dillon out of the gun. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. They had quite a hole to dig out of there on third and long. Not able to get the first, but a pretty good size run. A really good run. But how much confidence do you have in your next play call that you can sell to the head coach? Let's go get it on fourth down. Do you really have a play you believe in? Or are you just hopeful? And you've got to sell it to the big man before it gets called. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And my goodness, this is incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And this crowd into it early. Their guys stand tall on the opening drive of the football game. for the first time here with Brown. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 22-yard line. On second and 11 now. Mariota being chased out left. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Play fake here on first down. He'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. And he rifles one incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, 
Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. In pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. They'll throw again. Mariota. And he comes back with one complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. Scoreless after one quarter with no score. Now to throw on first down, escaping the pressure right. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. From the red zone now, Mariota. And that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. Trying to get it there to D.D. Westbrook. And that'll bring up second down. touchdown on the season and they are able to strike first here on their opening drive on for the extra point Jake Elliott and the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead good makes the score Niners 7 Rams nothing now after the touchdown here's Elliott on to kick it away and no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it the Rams take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. What's up? Picked off at the 25. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, oh, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it, not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it, and then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you, what do you yell? Uh, for, for us, it was Oski. Okay, Oski was an interception. Different teams. different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, were
was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be it's a too many syllable syllables. Yeah. You, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. And he's got some space here. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. Dante Jackson. A huge play that time for the Rams. 48 yards on the ground. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Terrell Edmonds. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. They're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. The wide receiver. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. The 21 yard line. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now a run with Dillon. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. They'll run for it with Dillon. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Flushed out right. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And he'll take this all the way down inside the 40. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. They'll run on first down. Dylan, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second and nine now. They'll get this into the hands of Dillon complete. Yeah, yeah, and brought done. down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 yards on the play, first down. Rams. Here's Dillon. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. He's just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And the 16's coming. Check left, check left. They'll run now with Dillon. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. But we're still in the second quarter. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 
DeAndre Hopkins, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams are able to get back within a touchdown. And this one through the uprights and good. Makes the score Niners 14, Rams 7. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Push him back. Push him back. Jack, line, line, line. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. Let's go. Let's go. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. D.D. Westbrook is intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Working out of the gun, Mariota, flush to his right. And this time he's got the hookup, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the foot. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, 49ers. A big play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers add on to their lead. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, and when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Their catch made at the 25-yard line. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. third 
down. Gun now on third down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn... And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. At their own 21-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And you're under a minute to go in the half, the first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But... It's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A.J. Dillon as the first half is winding down. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead. It's up and good, and it's now 28-14. to Mix the score, Niners 28, Rams 14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Incomplete. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. That incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Mariota on the keeper and obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage so we have come to halftime in what's already a two touchdown game as we send you cross country to Orlando Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report alright coach thank you and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three it's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. Jackson now to return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Rangers take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 
yards. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Play action now. Mariota eluding the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Throwing again, Mariota on second and 10. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he's gonna be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. So many screen passes are the result of excellent acting by everyone. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball tips the play off. <laughs> you know, the running back, because he's, he's eager to get the pass. And sometimes he doesn't act very well about whether he's going to block or leak out or whatever. And I think that they saw that, and that's why they're able to get to him on it. Escaping the pressure right. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Now Mariota on fourth down. They'll roll him out right. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They go for it on fourth down, and it pays off big time as they pick up 29. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he completes it to Westbrook. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five. To the air again, Mariota flushed out right. This is caught. And the 49ers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Marcus Mario. With his third touchdown of the game, number 15 on the year. And the 49ers had six to their lead. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Rams take over first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Looking to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. They'll look to throw here. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Los Angeles. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off right around the 43. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. Boy, so another interception, C.D., and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. 
He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him, let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. That one goes for 24 yards. They go play action. Mariota. The open man is Westbrook. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It's a gain of five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. At the Rams, 22-yard line. From the gun, Mariota. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. All right, Charles, as a former defensive back, how disheartening to actually catch it but just not be able to stay in bounds there defensively. Well, extremely because you know the rap against us defenders is that we're frustrated offensive guys who can't catch. And, and he caught it, just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. It's that second part that finished off the play for him. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. For a 49er. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to... And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Touchdown. Marcus Martin. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers add on to their lead. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this will make it into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. They turned the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A five-yard gain on the play. And the Rams first down. Now it's Dillon. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 43-yard line. This is Dillon. And he's got Rome. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. Dante a big pick up there on the run. 38 yards. Back now here in Santa Clara. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On play action, they'll throw. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? <laughs> Middle of the field, diving to grab it? No, he didn't. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. 
It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Try to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. They'll try and run. Dylan. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the return won't go anywhere. They'll be back deep in their own territory at the two-yard line. Mm, just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. At the one-yard line. Second and ten. And now where are they going to mark him here? Well, they say he did get back to the one-yard line, but that could have easily been two points the other way. It's third and ten. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Out of his end zone, Mariota. Got a man, Slayton. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll put him right at 99 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. A second down throw here for Mariota. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. They'll throw again. Mariota flush to his right. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Mariota again. Eluding the pressure right. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker Jalen Smith. They had a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11 yard line. He got outside the pocket there trying to improvise and he was calling for the ball downfield but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball thinking that he was open but I think the quarterback spotted him too late. And that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. At the Niners' 11-yard line. They're going to look to throw. 
That's caught. It's Thomas. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Third down. The Rams on third down. Lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. To throw again on second down. Mariota escaping the pressure right. And incomplete on the deep ball. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And it's third and short. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. Third and short yardage, Mariota. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 15 for the Niners there to first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense got crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. On second down, Mariota again. They'll get this over to Westbrook. It's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 27 yards there, a first down. Mariota here to throw. That's complete to Slayton. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. From the red zone now, Mariota. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Starting to really smell a 4-0 start right now. Yeah, can't ask for a better first quarter of the season than that. And you're not supposed to look ahead, but guess what? You're they, going to? They have to. <laughs> because when you get to four, if you get to 4-0, you're not just thinking playoffs now. You're thinking about, okay, this team has the capabilities of winning a Super Bowl. They could very well be the best team in the NFL at this moment. I think they played the best. I mean, there have been a few hiccups offensively and defensively, but probably the best team we've seen, right? And has the ability to get better. At their own 22-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary can really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. 
Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Complete. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that one caught by a Zigbo, his running back. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Back to throw again. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. The 20. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what are you doing when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. At their own 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. He's going to let it fly. And my goodness, another interception. Dante Jackson picks it. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. It's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Niners... That early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, the defeat is their first of the year as they drop to 3-1. And, and fortunately for them, they'll have the early bye next week as they return to action in Week 6. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Jesus hurt, Jesus wept. She like I mean. Dead boy on the you gotta yeah. go Okay. Mm. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and wanna see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, uh, sometimes you need a foe. Wanna keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. I sat down with my account, and he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know your worth. Sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of the You can't negotiate with Drake. You gonna have to pay, but wait. Jugging on the main stage. Put the main frame. Loosen up your face, baby. Sometimes I need a vacay, meditate, hydrate, protect my energy oh. before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. Oh. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, such a force of nature. Boss. I don't want to seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle, pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I want to see. Ocean from residence is three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that. It's time to learn that. Mess around and put that thing up where your permit. Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that. At the front of this line is where my turn at. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, sometimes you need a bow. Oh. Men gon' lie, women gon' lie, you're looking for the truth and the numbers don't hide. Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what your eyes. Everybody claim to be great at small times, but they never spend a day in the rain in the front line. No lie, stop playing on my phone line. Pull up in the space, boot with the roof, I'm sure no. Wonder why they follow suit. I've been groomed from the womb, came out of my mama with some running in the shoes. That's the dinner speed and bullet. No, 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 who's gon' play with it? Say yourself, what you gon' do with it? She don't know that I can pace it. I just wanna know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debate. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings. In. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. I'ma need something I can calm down front. I'm gonna pull up with the bar down one. Six months in, I ain't down once. Try and tell me what you know about me. You don't know nothing, keep it real with me. She says she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that C. I'm just hoping she don't feel bad. I don't really listen. 
have it, you should know it's automated. I've been getting to it, I ain't noticed y'all was hate. Brand new chicks, you don't know the occupation. I just wanna know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debate. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. I'ma need something, I can calm down front. I'm gonna pull it with the bar down one. Six months in, I ain't Time I was dying. 